Some bug wars are won with brute strength. Others are subtle affairs, where skill and cunning make a killer all the more lethal. When a spiny tree cricket and a golden orb weaver share the same forest, sometimes the sharing stops and hostilities start. Bristling with razor-sharp spikes, plated with impenetrable armor. The spiny tree cricket has all the appearance of a bare-knuckle brawler. Looks can deceive. These huge spikes all over its body, it looks like this fully armored battle machine. But guess what? The only thing it attacks are leaves, fruit, and bark. But if ever it finds itself in a fight, the spiny tree cricket is a formidable opponent. The armored exoskeleton is seriously tough. And its spines are numerous and inflict nasty wounds. In any fight, the spiny tree cricket has just one intention, and that's to get away. It doesn't kill on purpose, but it can kill with those big back legs. The spikes serve another purpose. They make the spiny tree cricket hard to spot in the foliage. The spiny tree cricket is a master of deception. All this bumpy, spiky armor gives the cricket a very irregular appearance, so even if a predator is climbing up the tree right towards it, it may not even notice the cricket. One rainforest creature is a master concealer. Another is quite the opposite. With its gilded head and garish bright stripes to warn off predators, the golden orb weaver is no shrinking violet. And its web is as striking and as deadly as any. The golden orb weavers didn't get their name for nothing. Their webs truly have this beautiful gold sheen, especially in the light. A cocktail of chemical compounds inside the orb weaver creates a silk that reflects gold in the sun's visible light spectrum. The color has a dual purpose. It blends in with the forest and attracts aerial prey or the insatiable orb weaver. Golden orb weavers are primarily eating butterflies, Katie dids, the silk is so strong, and the spiders are so big that they're able to successfully capture small birds. There are other creatures in the orb weaver's web, not victims, but distant relatives. Other spiders, kleptoparasites, that live off the orb weaver's leftovers. In the city that is a golden orb weaver's web, the kleptoparasites serve as small-scale garbage collectors, essentially. They're cleaning up the web. The golden silk is six times stronger than steel and ten times more effective than Kevlar at dissipating energy. That means when something flies into this silk, the web stays in one piece, and the victim stays trapped. But never underestimate a spiny tree cricket. Its spiky legs can rip an orb weaver's soft body parts to shreds. The spiny tree cricket may be able to deliver devastating kicks with its back legs, but if they're tangled up in something as strong and sticky, as a golden orb weaver's web, this could render it completely helpless. Next, a fight to the death 
in a golden web. And later, Battle of the Blossom Feeders. High in the forest, a golden web weaver is about to do battle with a master concealer who could deliver a death blow with one superpowered kick. It might not hunt other animals, but this cricket's no puny weakling. First off, it can grow up to three inches in length, and its back legs are long and really powerful. So it's not going to just lay down in front of a predator and say, eat me. From its forest vantage point, the spiny tree cricket flourishes its super long antennae, searching for a tasty snack. It launches itself, but into an orb weaver's web. The sticky net absorbs the cricket's energy. At the same time, it glues her feet to the silk. The orb weaver rushes down. It begins spinning a silken shroud. Multiple threads stream from her spinnerets. Depending on how strong the prey is, she'll start to wrap it up. She's essentially mummifying the prey. The spiny cricket lashes out with its legs. Until those legs are bound, the orb weaver is in mortal danger. A well-placed kick or a razor-sharp spine slashing her soft abdomen could be fatal. Golden orb weaver is a solid boot from one of those spiny back legs. This could easily penetrate the exoskeleton and do some serious damage. If it hits in an unprotected area, this could be fatal. The cricket is still alive and kicking, but to no avail. The spider sinks in her fangs. Strong venom, golden bonds. There's no escape and no future. The tree cricket is done for. The golden orb weaver begins her meal. But tonight, the queen of this golden kingdom doesn't eat alone. One of her minions moves in to help. The spiny tree cricket is, after all, a very large meal. And when you're so good at killing, you can afford to be generous with your neighbors. So there you go. Tough legs and a tough look don't stand a chance against the world's toughest spider silk. <laughs>